we got a problem. Do you remember on Monday night I talked about Australia and I was saying jokes like they get around on dingoes and the rich people have kangaroos? Well, there's some Australians in the audience. <laughs> Apparently they've been sent to take care of me. Go and uh, check them out. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Did you stroke my horse? <laughs> All right. Go, 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 go. <coughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Thomas from Melbourne, Australia. Jesse from Melbourne, Australia. I see. Well, if you're truly Australian, how did you get here? Dingo. By dingo, <laughs> eh? <laughs> you came by dingo, you came by kangaroo, so you're from a rich family. <laughs> Good for you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> right. So. I'm going to play you, uh, guys, a piece of footage. Uh, footage is what we in America call, uh, you know, stuff that you see on TV. And <laughs> if you can identify it correctly, because it's the greatest piece of television ever made. <laughs> and if you identify it correctly, then you'll be able to go to a restaurant in Hollywood at CBS's expense. Yes? If you get it wrong, however, we will deport you. <laughs> Here's a clue. It could possibly be an Australian show. Yeah. Best television ever made. Play the clip. Before you answer, now, <laughs> we're auctioning off each course. For your starter course at the Swanky Restaurant, which is? Café La Bohème. Café La Bohème. That's uh, French for Café the Bohemian. <laughs> All right. Uh, for a first course, can you name the type of animal featured in that television show? That's a kangaroo, mate. That is a kangaroo, mate. <laughs> She's a beauty. She is a beauty. Ah, so that was my second question. <laughs> um, which kind of kangaroo was Skippy? This is for your main course. Australian. Y yes. <laughs> <coughs> but think, think back to the song, the wonderful song. A bush kangaroo. A bush kangaroo is yeah. the yeah. Now, finally, Finally, for your dessert and all the liquor you can drink at CBS's expense. <laughs> I love this. this is, I, I should do a game show. I really like this. <laughs> all right. Um, for your dessert and all the liquor you can drink, can you tell me Skippy's real name? <laughs> Bruce. 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 Is the correct answer. <laughs> with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by PetSmart. Happiness in store. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
let your applause die away quite naturally, as if... Please show no mercy. Man, that was fast. What yeah, the hell, man? Yeah, yeah. They're like, hey! Boom! I heard that warm... Did you hear the warm-up comedian? I before did, he... I did, man. Tonight he said, he got the audience to shout, show no mercy! <laughs> Which I don't think sounds very upbeat and supportive, it's does it? Very, yes. Yeah. I've got a bit. Can you hear my throat? It's yeah. What's little, going on there? I man? don't know. I think I've got something in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> really? Something is irritating my esophagus a yeah. little bit. I, I've, it's just a bit of a cold, but it makes me sound a little husky. <laughs> You sound sexy. Little... You sound really sexy. You like it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, uh, sorry. It's just made me feel a little bit kind of, uh, I don't know, horny. Yeah. <laughs> the weird thing was, I had it on Monday as well. <laughs> and I didn't have it yesterday, and now I've got it again today. It's amazing. Amazing. What the hell is it? I don't know. Anyway, it's one of those recurring things. Right, I got it. I got like, um, what's the other one? Hairpiece. Hairpiece. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like audio hairpiece. I've got, it, it just it kind of comes up and then it goes, ah, but don't worry, you can't get it from me being this close, but this close you can. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> You know, it's a great... Please, 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 show a little mercy. <laughs> it's a great day for the Queen of America. Who's the Queen of America, Jeff? Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey. Yes. Oprah Winfrey. She sold her studio, Harpo Studios, and they say it's haunted. <laughs> oh. All right, that's enough. Uh, no, on a cold, moonless night, you can hear ghostly whispers of cars being given away. That's true. <laughs> Oprah sold her studio because she's decided to get rid of things she doesn't use anymore. Next up, Stedman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It is a great day for the state of Wisconsin. When is it not? But today it's especially great because Madison, Wisconsin is playing host to the big, the thing I look forward to every year. Oh, if you, it's huge. Uh, yeah, it's the, if you know anything about me, you know this is the big one for me. It's the World Championship Cheese Contest. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it's the biggest cheese competition in the world. It's like cheese a palooza. You got a poster for it? Look at that, the World Championship Cheese Contest. Wait. <laughs> that guy there is known as the Cheese Whisperer. <laughs> what could he be saying to the cheese? <laughs> Our love is forbidden. <laughs> I am lactose intolerant. I don't know how you can judge cheese. It's very subjective. I think this year's judge, Siv Borghold Skill from Norway, couldn't tell a wheel of brie from a wheel of a tricycle. Take that! <laughs> Take that, Norwegian cheese aficionados! <laughs> Did I just hear him diss our most famous judge of cheese? <laughs> we will suffer for this outrage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, some people say you shouldn't eat too much cheese, and these people are called doctors. <laughs> what do they know? I eat it by the pound. I like that you can eat cheese even if it's moldy. You just cut the moldy part off. You can't do that with other foods. In your face, nuts. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. By the way, In Your Face Nuts was the name of my off-Broadway one-man show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I can't talk. I can't talk anymore. My throat's too scratchy. That's it. You're done. Yes, I'm done. I yes. can't do any more. The rest of the show will be in mime. <laughs> What's mime for racist? Oh, I, th I think it's this. <laughs> oh, okay. You are a. Well, he's holding up his hand. What does that mean? I have no idea. Yeah. I think it means, I hate Scottish people. 
I think he was saying, in your face, nuts. <laughs> is that what you were saying? Not if the answer is yes. <laughs> Well, come on. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing there. I was waiting for somebody to do something. Yeah, yeah, come Every on. Every now and again when I do this show, I keep waiting for an adult to come along and fi fix it. Right, right. No, no, that's... It's, uh, it's not, not going to happen. Not going to happen. happen. Well, let's go to a commercial break. You do All that, right. Sure. You're watching The Late Late Show. We're the late night equivalent of your mom joining Facebook. <laughs> So I think my, I think my voice is getting a little better. It's getting better. Yeah, it sounds good. It sounds good. Really? Yeah. It sounds a little scratchy still. Yeah, it's less. Still scratchy, sexy though. though. Still sexy. Very much a turn on. Very much a turn on. Yeah. Really? What are your turn ons, Jeff? <laughs> well, AC outlets, uh, DC outlets. <laughs> what about yours? What are your turn ons, man? What gets you going? What gets you crazy? AC outlets. Yeah. yeah. There you go. There you go. Any outlets at all. An outlet mall. That's what oh, I like. Oh, yeah, about. that's fun. Oh, listen, you get me half price in a Tommy Hill figure, I'm a Tootsie Fruitsie. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say that? Oh, come, come on. on. No. No? Oh, no, oh, no. I can't say that. <laughs> the hell, man? No wonder my voice is like this. Unbelievable. <laughs> You're stifling me creatively, man. People want to hear, people tune into this show, they can't afford cable, they want to hear rude words, this is their only option. Man. What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's and by the way, hold on. Oh, sorry. There, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's the Australian flag right there. Look how I treat it with reverence and respect. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Australians, it's just a joke. That's right. <laughs> Just a little. That's an Australian word. Well, it is, yeah. Yeah. Rodley <laughs> <or lady -ling. laughs> it's treat mail time. Time to take advice from a man whose sore throat is brought to you by caretoshare.com. <laughs> That's a callback to Monday's show. <laughs> You've got to try and get your head around this. Yeah, yeah, all right. Do uh, you want to do a jingle? Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll yeah. just do our own jingle then. Ready? Tweets and emails. <laughs> Tweets and emails. <laughs> well, I took me jumbuck out by the billabong and got me yourself a tweety email. <laughs> Well, me kangaroo came over and jumped on me dingo. I threw out a boomerang and it came back an email and a tweet. Yeah, here you go. Come on, yeah. come on. Yeah. 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 This is from Carla in uh, Berlin, Germany. Oh. This means that we must talk this way? Yes. <laughs> we must talk this way because it's from Germany and also when we talk German, we like to go like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then if I hit the bell two times... We are still speaking still German. Germans, yes. <laughs> she says, uh, Craig, my cousin and I have... Und I, probably is what she means. Und, und, yeah. My cousin und I have a little bell like yours and when we ding it, we speak American. <laughs> yes, very clever. <laughs> Always got to take everything for themselves. Yo, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, what's, what's wrong? Too soon? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Um, all right, uh, this is from Laurie in Petaluma in California. You ever been there? Petaluma, you know it. No, I don't actually. Have you ever no, been No, I there? told you, yeah. I got a timeshare down there. I told you about that. Really? What, yeah, is, yeah. That the, is that the condo? That's the condo, man. With the you. refrigerator? With the refrigerator. How is it? It's good, man. It's, it's good. It's good. You should, uh, you should go down there with the fam, man. Check it out. <laughs> Yeah. It's going nowhere. No, I know. Man. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, Laurie and Petaluma says, Craig, I'm going to call you right now if that's okay. <laughs> what the hell? That would be Laurie and Petaluma. Laurie and Petaluma. Yeah, all right. Hello? <laughs> it's amazing people stopped using these, isn't it's it? Unbelievable. <laughs> Ah, uh, hello. Yes, um, hi, this is Lori in Petaluma. Oh, hi. Uh, hey, how did you get this number, Lori? I'm asking for a friend. Oh, I just, uh, it was on a bathroom stall. <laughs> you sound a little bit like the drummer in the band. No, no, no. Are you no. sure? No, no, this is, this is definitely Lori from Petaluma. <laughs> okay, Lori, if you're really from Petaluma, name your zip code. It's one seven four two three. Correct. All right. For your main course, how tall is David Hasselhoff? Well, I met him once at a convention, and I was. You're allowed to ask a friend if you have any friends in the house. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, I'm on the phone. It's uh, Craig Kilborn. <laughs> Ferguson. Uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. He's, um, he's six, six, five. Uh, you're allowed to ask another friend if they're a celebrity. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll ask, uh, oh, oh, uh, Morgan Freeman is here. Oh, That's really? Weird. That surprises me. He enjoys Petaluma. <laughs> uh, hello, this is Morgan Freeman. Oh, hello, Morgan Freeman. So you're asking the question about, uh, David Hasselhoff's height. Yes, sir. Well, that's a tough question because it fluctuates. <laughs> Uh, we're a little through the wormhole here, Morgan. Uh, what? Well, that's how you got that sore throat, I think. Good day to you, sir. I am everywhere. Oh, what was that? Ah. No. All right. We're out of time. We're right back. First guest tonight is a fantastic, famous actress, movie star, American goddess. Icon, really, icon I'd goddess. Say. Yeah, definitely. She's in Nymphia, Nymphia, She's in a film. She is. Uh, a lot of films, but the one she's going to talk about is Nymphomaniac Number uh, Volume One. <laughs> so I get very excited when I say the word Nymphomaniac. Yeah. yeah. It's on demand now and in theaters Friday. Please welcome the enchanting Uma Thurman, everybody. <laughs> Thurman. Good evening. You look, you look absolutely lovely. It's very elegant. Thank you. You too. Well, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> First of all, let me put your mind at ease. I don't think my scratchy throat is infectious. Oh, really? I don't think so. But That's too bad. <laughs> there you are. Oh, hang on. I'm sorry. We had some Australians in earlier. <laughs> How okay, are you? Then. I, I love your dress. It's very, um... Black and white. Certainly. Do you see things that way, black and white? Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Are you in therapy? Um, yes. No, me too. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big uh, fan of therapy. I think if I didn't go to therapy, I'd be, you know, frantic and Crazy. insane. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's really lucky then that you've toned it down a little. <laughs> what did you talk to your therapist about? Myself. 
<laughs> that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Do you talk about your dreams? Oh, I, I try not to. Why? It's, it's, the day is so busy. Well, will you talk about your day? Yeah. That's what your husband's I know, it's very boring. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> well, what is your day like then? Um, well, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, busy. Lots going on. You have children? The number of them, yeah. Yeah, well, that's going to get... Yeah. That gets, that gets in the way of some fun, doesn't it? <laughs> well, oh, they Lord. are fun. They are fun. Oh, right? sure, sure. I can follow the party line, but come on. No, well, you have children. But that's what I'm saying. I've got kids. Where do you think this comes from? Well, this is from preschool. One, so you didn't stop at one. No, I like sex, so, too. Well. <laughs> and sometimes other people are there. Oh, dear. Well, I hope that's not contagious. Uh, you no, know, that's contagious. <laughs> yeah. No, I... Uh, what age are your children? I have a 20-month-old who's youngest, a 12-year-old, oh, and a 15-year-old. Oh, 20 months? Yeah. You went again. I know. <laughs> are you getting any sleep? Not much. See, I think the sleep deprivation is the hardest part of being a parent. Where, do you really get up with your child? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, well, I think what happens is that you just, you get in the habit of getting up, then you just don't stop getting up. Then you don't go back to sleep. Right, you know, I don't, I don't go, <laughs> I don't really sleep at all now. A couple hours a night, that's it. Well, that's bad. I know, a guilty conscience. Oh, really? Yeah. What about? What well, about? Well, you better hold this out. <laughs> you know, you know what? See that? I think if you were to put that, that's contagious. That, yeah, then you're yeah, gonna get the yeah, thing, you know. But it's all right. No, I don't really have a guilt. I've, you know, done some work on myself. I think I've managed to forgive myself for a few things. Have you? I don't know. <laughs> What about you? You ever done anything that just eats away at you? Eats and eats away at you? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. No, I have. Uh, but I have. Uh, oh, dear. <laughs> what have you done that's eating away at you? No, I'm not telling you that. <laughs> Do you find people trust you? Um, some, yes. No, you seem very trustworthy. I wanted to tell you my secrets Really? There. You did? Yeah. Okay. Do you wear glasses? I wear contact lenses. Ah. Mm. Do you always wear them? No, sometimes I wear my glasses. No, I tell you why I'm asking. Cause tell me. Ages and ages ago, this is true. Um, and this is a little bit of a confessional. I went to a party and you were at it. Really? And, yeah, yeah. And I was looking at you, and I was like, "Oh, there's Uma Thurman." And I looked nearsighted. No, you you were looking back at me, and I went, and you went like that, and I went, "She must think I'm someone else." <laughs> Have you ever at a party looked at someone and thought it was them and smiled at them? Um, well, yes, and often it was. Yeah, I'd say <laughs> probably, probably most of the time. Most often. Right, but that one time when it wasn't, it was probably me. You probably I actually have had the problem in reverse, where people kind of look at you and then they, they, you, they look at you like they know you, and then you worry that maybe you do know them, but actually you don't know them, so then you have to wait this really long time to make sure you're not rude, and then you're in a long conversation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With I get. you don't know. I get people like who I think have been on the show, mm -hmm. but haven't been on the show, they're just famous. Right. Yeah, and I go, hey, how are you doing? Good to see you again. They're like, I don't know who you are. And, or worse, people who have been on the show, and I think they haven't been and on the forgot. show. forgot. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah, it's really embarrassing. They come up to you and they go like, hey, and I'm like, does you know. It, does it eat away at you? Nah. <laughs> a little bit. A little Tiny bit, bit. yeah. No. It's all the little things that add up, you know. Yeah, it is, mm. actually. Mm. <laughs> Do you meditate? I've been trying to, actually. Recently? It's been a few days. <laughs> well, that's all I right. I have this little thing on my iPad called Meditation Timer. Yeah, I've got that. And um, it's, one becomes kind of a slave to it, and I've developed a whole neurosis around whether I've done it or not. So I hit my meditation timer, and I try to do it. I don't think that's in the and spirit I, of it. No, I know. It's completely not working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it sounds like you, you have and to... And then I keep a log about what happened and so on, so I can really keep track of my you know, efficiency with meditation. Is that even a thing? No. <laughs> efficiency of meditation? No, like, Schumer exactly. begins the meditation now. <laughs> and At least I'm proceed. Trying. No. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh. Someone just won the cheese contest. <laughs> <laughs> is that today? <laughs> it is. Yeah. Nice job. Oh, it's, no, it's a, kind of like Hunger Games, or maybe they were put out of the contest. <laughs> the name shines. The name up shines up. Are you uh, are you interested in cheeses? I'm. Um, I do eat cheese. Really? So you're not a vegan then? No, not at all. No, I eat particularly melted cheese.
Grilled cheese sandwiches, we, to be we, exact. Yeah, I understand, <laughs> I understand the melted cheese concept, too, uh -huh. but I... <laughs> But I refer you to, have you ever gone specialized? Have you ever gone fondue? You refer, refer me to like a Foreman grill? <laughs> oh, oh, like, wow, you got a Foreman grill? <laughs> no, I don't know. Oh, yeah, you do. Come no, on, yeah, you do. I've moved on to the panini maker, I'm sorry. Well, panini maker is just... open-faced in the, in the frying pan, you know, with extra butter. You're like a cheese genius. Yeah, no, I know. I'm a sandwich maker. I'm a really? Yeah. I'm well, you got kids. You got to make sandwiches. You got to make sandwiches. Yeah, they don't yeah. eat grilled cheese particularly, but... No, they don't? I thought grilled... I mean, my kids like grilled cheese sandwiches, but of course, they're Scottish. But that'll do it. Yeah. We have... Uh, uh, we have to... Uh, we have to take a break. Oh, dear. No, nah, it happens all the time. Okay. We'll be right back with him with Thurman. We'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm here with Emma Thurman. We're talking now about Nymphomaniac Number no. One, uh, which mm. is the film that uh, the, the, that's it's comedy, comedy musical. Yes. <laughs> Lars a von, hardcore comedy. Yeah, La, 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 Lars von Trier. <laughs> Lars von Trier. Yes. yes, he's Danish, I believe. He is. Yes, he's a real aversion to traveling outside of Denmark. Apparently. Did you shoot the movie in Denmark? No, he shot it in Germany. Uh, but he can get there by car. Yeah, he can. That's the thing, because he won't go over water and he won't get in an airplane. Yeah, do you, are yeah. you phobic of, of travel? No, I just like people who are. Really? Well, I, like, I like people there's who There's no are chance new. of meeting them, <laughs> mistaking them for <laughs> that, someone else. Well, there's no, there's no chance of bumping into <laughs> like them unless you you're in... someone who sounds Danish, you can think yourself, I know that's not Lars von Trier. Right, exactly. <laughs> he's not in America. my list. Right, he's not in America. <laughs> However, if I'm in anywhere you can drive to from Denmark, then you've got to worry, I'm on guard. Is that Lars von Trier? Yeah. <laughs> because who knows? It might be. True. He's he's a very um, very stylistic director. Yeah. It's all very bare bonesy and sometimes quite frightening and dark. Uh, so this is not a comedy about an infomaniac who saves the day. No. <laughs> no. I've saved the day, everyone. Let's have sex. <laughs> I mean, she might be saving many people's days, you know. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> but it's a real, it's a real pathology. It's actually, actually yeah, it's a very psychological real. movie, very psychological drama. And the uh, nymphomaniac number one is this like the first person who was an nymphomaniac, or the implication being there may be a second on the I way. I think it's just the first time you really spend a long time learning about an nymphomaniac. Like in a more detailed fashion. Right, you know, okay. You might make assumptions about an nymphomaniac, you know. Well, yeah, because Or think, I might be a nymphomaniac to yourself sometime. But when you watch this movie, you'll be sure that you might not be. Yeah, no, I... <laughs> no, I, I think I might have it, been... It sets a, the bar quite high for what is and is not a nymphomaniac. Well, what is a nymphomaniac? Is someone a who A very uses... busy person. Yeah, that's true, but <laughs> also who someone can't who can't really uses... hold down a job. <laughs> well, you can. It's an addiction, isn't it? It's, it's like... a very busy job. It's a... It, it, you, you, uh, you use sex compulsively. Apparently so. Mm. It's fascinating. Well, you know, I think I might have done that in the past. Really? Sure. But you're lucky, you know, only recently that we call it a sex addict, because you're I never said I was a sex addict. Oh, whoa, whoa. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean... You know, I'm an enthusiastic amateur, but I wouldn't say addict. I... <laughs> and also, I find as time goes by, I begin to... Yeah, Get married. Yeah. Well... Yeah. Get married again. And the kids, you know, yeah. they're, they're awake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Things are going on. There's stuff on TV. You know. Stuff to do. You know, then I could watch The Wire again. It's a good show. Sounds exciting around your house. It is. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is exciting to me now. Well, The Wire it, is a very good show. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's lucky there's a lot of them, too, so you can really spread it out over many weeks and days. Are you mocking me, Uma? <laughs> you're mocking me. No, I wouldn't mock you. You're, I think, a little mocky. Such a funny man. No, I think you're coming in from the side and mocking from the side. <laughs> oh, no, no. It's no. the old Australian mock. No, 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 it's none of that. <laughs> anyway, we're done. Okay. We're out of time. We are, as Lars von Trier would say, halfway through the movie. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome, five people. <laughs> um, yeah, so how do you want to finish it up? Uh, awkward pause, meditation, whatever you want. Um, awkward pause. Awkward pause is good. Yeah. <coughs>
My next guest is a terrific actor. He stars on a TV show, Legit, which means he really stars on a TV that's right, show. That's right, yeah. So on Wednesdays on FXX. <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> DJ Qualls, So it is a you. pleasure to see you, DJ. You look great. I love your suit. Thank you. I dress up for Uma Thurman. Yeah, who yeah. wouldn't? Dude, I was freaking out. I knew she was coming on. And so we had a complex like plan to get a picture because I was afraid she would like pull a restraining order on me because I was really nervous and I wanted to see her. And so we had a plan and then I saw her and she was like, you look really nice. And I was like, I did it for you. And then she was like, well, then we have to get a picture. And we took a picture. So I'm stoked. <laughs> and she kissed me right before I came on. Yeah. How have you been? Really well. Yeah? Yeah, my show moved to a new network. They split FX into FXX. It's not FXX, it's FX. That's what got me confused. What's yeah. the X for? Extra, extra entertainment? I think it's for like, I don't know what it's about. They spent like $30,000 on media training, but I wasn't paying attention. And so what happened is they moved us to a new channel to try to like attract 18 to 34 year old men. Oh, I know how you attract that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So they Why would you want to attract 18 to 34 year old men? Know, Is there something you want to tell us? Because it's cool, man. <laughs> no, I'm waiting for the cover of People for that. Okay. Um, no, so they moved us to a new channel and nobody knows where we are because we're like between Forbes HD and like something else that you don't flip past. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. But so it sucks. So now I feel like the Avon lady. I'm going door to door to say, please watch my show. <laughs> so what am I then? Some kind of bored housewife? No, 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 no. Because, no. no. I've never once, ever, ever, ever promoted something, talked about something I was supposed to promote on this show. Have you not really? No, we've never gotten to the actual... Oh, well, well let's I'm talk about it then. So the show is good, though, isn't it? It's yeah, about it's that great. guy who goes... Yeah, Jim Jeffries is a comedian, and yeah. I'm a guy in a wheelchair. And it's funny and sad and poignant, and it's the best work I've ever done. But nobody knows where we are, so it's on FXX on Wednesdays at 10. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's really good. You know, Dude, I'm the, this is why I ne we never well, get to, I I'm understand. to talk about because no, I'm a terrible salesperson. Well, no, you're good at it. It's just that you got the time. Uh, there's an ambiguity about it. Right. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm good. There's yeah, a story yeah. that I want to tell you. You want to tell me a story? Yes. Is it about a uh, haunted house? No. Is it about naked ladies? No, there are no naked people in it at all. I was, it's about me. I was by myself. Oh, yeah. Okay, go okay. ahead. Okay. Yeah. So... We ha so over the years, we've developed this relationship where when I tell stories about drinking too much or in indulging too much in certain things, you go with me, but you give, you give me sad eyes. Because you're worried about me, because you like me. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, so we, have like, so we have kind of like a big brother, little brother relationship, I think, I hope. Yeah, sure, yeah, it seems reasonable, yeah. yep. So <laughs> I want to tell you something that happened to me recently. Um, I stopped smoking pot. Congratulations. Yes, and here's why. So I went to get my my card because I have ins insomnia, right? Because once I took Ambien and woke up with a chocolate milk and, and a pack of cigarettes that I bought after I went to bed. 
Yeah, I drove there. I drove to 7-Eleven. I've had the same result. For yeah. So I stopped taking it. Yeah. And so my friend said they have a weed called Sleepy Time. So I went and got Sleepy Time weed, and it really does put you right to sleep. Well, then the next time I was in the dispensary, I got more bold. Because when you first go there, you feel ashamed. Right? Because, like, you're doing something that feels kind of gross. And so I went in, and they have all these interesting names like Purple Nosebleed and Mind Scrambler and Trainwreck. So... <laughs> I bought some, Oh, give me some train yeah, wreck. Yeah. So I, bought, I bought some train wreck. Yo, you really yeah, did? I bought train wreck. And so I went home, and it's like 11 o'clock on a Wednesday night, and I have to work uh, the next day, but not early. But so I want to go to bed. So I smoke some train wreck, and then I over smoke and I get really scared and start freaking out. Like my heart's beating. And then I looked online, and it said, What you do is don't call anybody. Just because everybody wants to go to the hospital, right? So they said, Don't call anybody, but do something that doesn't engage your mind, right? I mean, like, that's like non threatening. So I started watching this PBS documentary about Mary Pickford, and Mary Pickford was the first movie star ever, right? Like in the 20s, and I know nothing about her. So I'm watching this documentary, and in the middle of it, all of a sudden, I'm predicting what's going to happen next. I know nothing about Mary Pickford. <laughs> but I know what's going to happen in like five minutes in her life. So I start freaking out, and so I think, oh my God, I'm Mary Pickford reincarnated. <laughs> No, listen, so I went online, I went online and saw that she died the same year I was born, and I was like, oh my God, I'm Mary Pickford. So I start calling people, and by this time, it's like two in the morning. I'm like, dude, I'm freaking out, I'm Mary Pickford, call me back. And everybody's asleep, because it's like, it's like, uh, you know, it's like really early in the morning on Wednesday. And so then finally, I'm like, oh, this is terrible. And then I was like, maybe I'm not Mary Pickford. And I was like, you know what, if at the end of this documentary, her she's like 80 and her husband hands her an honorary Oscar in her living room, I'm gonna lose my I And he did. <laughs> and I lost my So finally, I went up going to sleep, and then I woke up the next morning going, surely that didn't happen. Maybe I just got out of my mind. And then all my, my phone was filled with messages going, hey, dude, did you call me last night saying that you're Mary Pickford? <laughs> call me back. And so then I'm like, oh my God, I'm probably Mary Pickford. And so like, I'm dealing with that. And then I went online to make sure that the documentary was even on television. <laughs> it was. They played it one whole time. And at the end of the night, sometimes PBS will play things back to back. I was so high, I sat through it a whole time and then watched it again. <laughs> I knew everything because I had just seen the documentary. Wow. And to this day, yeah. to this day, my friends still call me Pickford. <laughs> What's up, Pickford? That is a great story. I've always wanted to tell you that, but I was afraid you'd give me sad eyes if no, I was look, still... Look. I know they're not sad. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not smoking pot anymore because I, I well, don't have... Well, that sounds like a pretty good reason not to. I know. <laughs> they should tell that to kids. I think they just did. <laughs> We gotta go. We're out of time. Okay. Awkward pause, mouth organ? Um, awkward pause is good. Um, the, uh, how about mouth organ? No. Okay, awkward pause. That will help the awkward pause. Okay. I, yeah, I turned you down for the mouth organ. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> what do we do with that? I've never done mouth organ. <laughs> Cat look weird to you. I, I can't really turn my head enough to see it, but oh, just just over here, Jeff. It's just over here. What what are you looking at now? What's going oh, on oh, back look, there? Oh, oh, it's uh, oh, Zac Efron naked. What, what are you doing here, Zac? No, no. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.